Today I want to share with you an eight step checklist that can help nearly anyone accomplish their trading goals. I can guarantee you if you don't accomplish every single thing on this eight step checklist that you have a 95% chance of blowing an account or just wasting your money trying to trade. But on the other end of that spectrum, on the flip side of that coin, if you do accomplish these eight things in your trading, then I can guarantee that your chances of accomplishing your trading goals and becoming a money-making trader will go up dramatically. So if that sounds good, then go ahead and smash that like button for me. If you're brand new to the channel, I'm Steven, your honest trading coach. Click that subscribe button because we come out with content like this each and every week. Make sure to click that notification bell. While you do that, I'm going to let the intro and disclaimer roll and I'll see you directly afterwards. I like to break this down in something I call the millionaire trader checklist. And what this is, is eight steps that you must take before you will ever start making money in any financial market, including the Forex market. So let's dive into these eight things that you must check off before you start trading live, starting with understanding the basics of the market that you are trading in. So if you're trading in the Forex market, that would be understanding what the Forex market is what a currency pair is, what a pip is, how the market moves, how to go long and how to go short, how to place a stop and a target, understanding the way to take a trade in your brokerage account would all fall under the category of basics. Luckily, I have a full video on the basics of Forex. I'll put it in the top right hand corner of the screen. It's like an hour long, but it does go through everything you're going to need in order to master the basics of Forex. Next, you will need to master technical analysis. And I know my handwriting is awesome. Technical analysis would be understanding a candlestick chart, would be understanding indicators, moving averages, price action patterns like double tops and bottoms, candlestick patterns like engulfing, hammer, shooting star. You need to understand, at least to a certain degree, all aspects of technical analysis. That would all fall under category number two. And the reason you must do this is because we're gonna use a combination of these technical factors to create the next step, which is to create or learn a strategy. Now in this video earlier, I taught you an entire strategy that's rules based and that has provided an edge over the market for me. Hey guys, a quick pause in the action right here. This is actually a video clip from a video I did last week. So that strategy I'm talking about was in that video. And what I'm going to do is put a link to that video in the top right hand side of your screen. Let's get back to this video now though. You don't have to go create your own. I have plenty of strategies on our channel and there's plenty of other strategies out there. You can learn one. And the good news about this is that these three steps, should literally, if you start from scratch, from brand new, these three st steps should take you less than two weeks if you have enough time to put into it. Two weeks to a month max, you should be able to master the basics, master technical analysis, and have a strategy that's rules-based and that provides an edge over the market. But the only way to know if said strategy does provide an edge over the market is to backtest, which is step number four or Number four on this checklist is to backtest that strategy. So your strategy is going to be a rules-based approach to every single time you trade based on a number of technical factors. That's why we need to learn technical analysis first and then learn or create a strategy. And then we backtest that strategy to ensure that it's profitable. Even if you learned it from a pro trader like myself, you still need to go test it to be sure it's profitable and be sure you're seeing the market in the same way I am. And there's no other way to see if this said strategy was profitable in the past 100 trades other than testing it in the past 100 trades, right? And if it hasn't been profitable in the past 100 trades, the likely scenario is that it won't be profitable during the next 100 trades. And we also backtest, not just to ensure that a strategy is profitable, but also to practice that strategy and train our reticular activating system to see that specific pattern on a chart, to see all of our technical factors coming together on a chart more quickly and more easily because acting fast, even in swing trading is really important in trading. So you want to make sure you go through your back testing to practice and ensure your strategy is profitable. And the third reason we back test is to help with number four and number four is optimize. You now have a strategy that is rules based that you are back testing. You need to be optimizing that strategy. You can optimize for a infinite 
amount of things but the three things i like to look for most is i optimize for the best currency pairs that this strategy works on because some currency pairs act different than others therefore some currency pairs are going to perform differently with a certain strategy than others will i also like to optimize for stop and target placement to ensure that i'm getting the most out of my reward to risk ratio on every strategy that i'm trading and on every pair I optimize for risk to reward ratio because some pairs move more than others. Those are the three things I look at. Some other things you may want to look for while optimizing is what time of day does your strategy work best in? What period of the year, how many, what months does it work best in? You see what I'm saying? There's infinite possibilities in terms of app optimizing, but the three that I just told you are the ones that I personally look for. Now, doing this is impossible if you don't take the back testing step first. Hopefully you're seeing a pattern here. Every one of these needs to be checked off in order. And now that we're done optimizing, let's say you have your rules-based strategy, you've back tested it, you've optimized it, you've picked six currency pairs, you plug all those numbers into a spreadsheet, and then based on those results, based on the total number of losses in a row you have, based on the max drawdown that you see, based on historic data in back testing, you then have what you need to help you create a risk management plan. So number six on the checklist is creating a risk management plan. And since you've done all the other steps, you now have the information you need to do so. So if this strategy, let's say, performed at a 60% win rate and gave you a time when it had five losses in a row, then if that's what happened in the past 100 instances the strategy performed or the strategy happened in historic data, then it's likely that you're gonna have five losses in a row again during the next 100 trades. So the way you would go about creating a risk management plan is asking yourself with those five losses, how much do I need to risk each trade to stay comfortable during drawdowns like that, to stay out of my emotions, to keep from making big mistakes, and, and most of all, to keep from blowing my account during those types of losses. Because that's the two things that a risk management plan does. First off, it keeps you from blowing your account. And not that it, you can't blow an account with a good risk management plan, you can, but it makes it much, much, much more difficult to blow an account if you're risking a small amount of your account per trade. It also keeps us out of our emotions. If you, for instance, right now when you place a trade and you win the trade, you feel like you hit the lottery, you're jumping up and down, you're, you're telling your spouse or all your friends that you're gonna be the next Bill Gates and you're gonna be the next Warren Buffett. I said the wrong name there. But if that's you, and then when you lose, you're droopy, bad mood, borderline depressed, then that means that the amount of money you are losing and winning during trades is too much. Not that the amount of money you're winning is too much. I get that that sounded stupid, but that means you're risking too much because the amount of money you're losing, and it really, it means you're risking too much because of how emotional you are about these numbers in your account. And that means you need to reduce the risk in your risk management plan. And all of this is done preemptively by doing all the back testing. If you're risking too much, I guarantee you haven't back tested and optimized a trading strategy and created a risk management plan around it. So that's your steps in this checklist, right? That's the next steps for you. Next, after you create a risk management plan, is something that is so widely argued by professional traders, it's not even funny. Some say that it's absolutely useless. Some say it's necessary. I'm on the side that says it's absolutely necessary, but let me explain why. Let me actually say what it is first. Demo trading is the next step. Now, I know there probably is half of you going, demo trading doesn't give me any emotional stimulus, so why would it be like practicing trading? Well, you don't wanna risk money if you don't know if this rules-based strategy can actually be used in real market data. So the reason we're demo trading is to make sure you can actually accomplish the strategy. You can place the trades you need to place even with your prior obligations, like having a job, like having kids to look after, like sleeping. You wanna make sure that all of your trades don't happen while you're asleep. You wanna make sure they don't happen while you have those prior obligations. You wanna make sure that you can actually perform the strategy. You also are gonna demo trade because if you're using market orders, what you didn't account for in your back testing is something called spread. And you need to make sure that that spread doesn't make your strategy just completely irrelevant and lose the profits that you could have made. I'm not saying demo trade forever. I think it's so stupid for people to discount demo trading like it doesn't do anything. 
Demo trading shows you all of that. It shows you, and you don't want to risk real money wondering if you can actually trade the strategy you've done all this work to test. You want to risk fake money. You want to demo trade. Plus, if you demo trade for a month and you see that you have made profit over that month, then your confidence in this strategy is going to be sky high. You've now created a rules-based strategy that you can accomplish, that you can use every single day in the markets because it's a set of rules that you're going to follow. You've optimized it for the best pairs. You're using correct risk management and you see in demo trading that all of that combines to actually give you profit in a month. Your confidence is going to be through the roof and that confidence is necessary for step number eight and our final check in this checklist, which is discipline. You, at the end of the day, need to stay disciplined to all these rules. I know that it's so tempting to go chase the next GameStop or Dogecoin or AMC. I know it's so tempting to jump on the Bitcoin bandwagon. And I'm not saying don't do that at all. If you have a certain amount of money that you're willing to risk, or if you trade in crypto, by all means, go do that. But don't gamble. Even if you're doing that, at least have some kind of plan. Have a set place where you want to get out of the market. Don't just put money in there expecting it to go to the moon. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. But at that point, all you're doing is gambling. You can go to Vegas and gamble. And by all means, if you want to gamble with your money, that's totally up to you. I'm just trying to explain the steps you need to take to become a consistently profitable swing trader over a long period of time. Make it a career, not a try, not try to make it a get-rich-quick scheme. And these are the steps that you need to take in order to do that. So right now, if you are anywhere on this checklist, your next steps should be very, very obvious. If you are brand new, then obviously you need to start with the basics. Then learn technical analysis and you need to go down the list. Let's say you're someone who already knows technical analysis, but you don't have a strategy yet. Good news, I just showed you a swing trading strategy earlier in this video. So with that strategy or with the technical analysis that you learned, you can now create a strategy based around a combination of technical factors. That would be your next step. If you already have that strategy, you have it back tested and optimized, you can see where I'm going with this, right? You can tell where you're at on this list. And on this checklist, if you need to write it down, write it down yourself on a piece of paper and check off the things that you've already accomplished. If you already know the basics, great. If you already know technical analysis, awesome. You have that strategy that I taught earlier in the video, but if you don't have a strategy, don't check it off. If you do have a strategy, cool. If you want to use that one from earlier or create your own or you have one from someone else, whatever. If you've already back tested, obviously you check that off and you would just go down the list and figure out where you are and what your next step should be in terms of risk management. If you're like I was saying earlier and you're someone who's freaking out emotionally, whether they win or lose a trade, your emotions are peaks and valleys, then you need to adjust your risk management plan if you've already done all these and God forbid you've done none of these and you're trading live right now. God forbid you haven't done every one of these and you're trying to trade with real money. I can't I can't tell you what to do with your money. I will just say, please take a step back and accomplish all of these things. Trading's not easy. Accomplishing all these things is not going to be easy, but if you set your mind to it, you can do it in less than three to six months. And at that point, your chances of becoming a consistently profitable swing trader go from down here to up here. Not even just swing trading, any type of trading that you do. And an easier way, a more simple way, I guess you could say, that I like to do this is with something I call the triangle of trading success. A lot of you may have already seen this if you've seen our channel for a while. This triangle looks like so, like a regular triangle, right? Inside of it is all of the profitable traders that are actually making money. On the outside are the things they had to accomplish in order to make that money. The last section we just looked at with that checklist, it was kind of broken down a little bit more complicated, not even more complicated, almost in a more comprehensive way, but they all must have a strategy or way of trading that produces them with profit over long periods of time. They all must have a risk management plan that keeps them from getting emotional in trades and from blowing their accounts. They all must have the discipline to stick to those two things. So if you can accomplish all three of these, then you will be in the money with your trading. It's inevitable. All right, so I really hope you enjoyed that beginner lesson, but if you are ready for some more advanced training, then we just had a few graduates come out of the EAP training program, our flagship program here at the Trading Channel. I'll post some of their testimonials on the screen, and that is incredible news for them. 
And that's also incredible news for you because that means that we finally have some spots available in the EAP training program. And while you glance through some of the comments on the screen, I want to tell you that if you're struggling to profit right now, then I've been where you are too. I struggled for over a year before I found a way to be consistently profitable. I made every mistake you can think of. I moved stops. I used poor risk management. I traded strategies that didn't work. I followed a signal service that ended up with me almost blowing my entire account. But after that first year, and after nearly blowing an entire account, I found the real path to trading success. And consistently profitable trading became as easy as counting to six. And that is what I teach in the EAP training program. I created a strategy that only uses six simple rules to create an edge over the market. So once you memorize these rules, trading becomes as easy as counting to six. These rules are completely objective and easy to follow. And although just having a strategy is only one part of the equation, it is a very large part of that equation. In the EAP training program, we also have lessons on risk management and discipline to make sure that you have everything you need to get on the right track to becoming a consistently profitable trader. And here's a look at some of the things that are included in the course. As you can see, we have beginner lessons that teach you everything you need to know about technical analysis in terms of what you're going to learn in the course. We have a transition course, which is meant to take you from where you are to becoming consistently profitable. And after that, we have an advanced course that is meant to take your trading to that next level. We also send out three to five email alerts every week. These are not meant as signals. Let me clarify that. But instead, meant to show you exactly how I am looking at the market. And we also do a review video at the end of every couple of weeks to show you how the strategies are performing. And you can check those out right here. So if more advanced training is something that you are looking for, then we do have a few spots available in the EAP training program. This program also comes with priority email, meaning you can email me at any point that you have questions and I will answer you ASAP. So if a trading mentor is something you are looking for, then look no further. Go ahead and click the link in the description for the EAP training program and it would be a pleasure to have you aboard and to have you join us in the EAP training program. If not, that's totally fine too. Make sure you're subscribed here on YouTube. Make sure to click that like button for me if you enjoyed this video. Follow us on Instagram at The Trading Channel and I will see you in the next video.